What's going on, y'all? Back again with a fun video. Uh, this is gonna be pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna be the build of shooting for around 400 wheel horsepower. So. So we got the Blausch 1.5 XTR, 10 centimeter hot side, got ID 1300 injectors, uh, Grimsby top mount intercooler, a uh, pair of equal length headers, and just the whole um, box of uh, supporting mods, uh, RCM parallel fuel line kits, uh, flex fuel kit, uh, a bunch of stuff. So we are going to be trying to install all of this this week. Um, so this is Monday, so we'll label it on. Uh, I'm going to go on. Maybe this might be a two-part video. This might be a three-part video. Who knows? Um, but it is going to be a lot. We're going to be installing innovative gauges on the dashboard. Um, it's going to be really cool. So just to watch the transformation, um, really look forward to it. I'm uh, going to be recording as much as possible. Um, kind of just like show what the before and after of everything is. We're going to go ahead and get started. What I'm going to be doing first is just taking off the top mount intercooler. Um, and then just draining all the fluids. Uh, I'm going to do transmission oil and um, coolant, uh, draining all those. Uh, I'm just doing transmission because it's due um, and I'm already in there, so you might as well just do it. All right, so let's go ahead and just get those done. I have videos of me doing this already, so I'm not going to really record it, um, but then I'm just going to show you after and tell you where we're going to pick off after that. All right. <clears throat> all right, so we drain the transmission fluid, we change the, uh, we drain the oil, and we also drain the coolant. Uh, I need to drain all those things just to, so we know we're going to take off the turbo, we're going to be taking off the intake manifold. Um, so, yeah, so now we're here. Um, took out the intake, took out the uh, intercooler. So what I'm going to be doing <clears throat> is uh, next is going to be going to take off the turbo, uh, take off the intake manifold, and then take off the uh, headers. And kind of um, after I take off the headers, I'm going to measure up the pair and equal length headers over there. Um, and I'm going to actually measure out and drill the hole for the EGT sensor that I'm going to put on cylinder four um, header tube. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and just take this stuff off and then uh, we'll catch up again. We'll do that and then we're gonna move on to uh, uh, do a dry run of putting the parent equal length headers on and then uh, we're gonna drill the hole and then get ready to uh, get the uh, bung for the EGT sensor welded on uh, for tomorrow, all right? All right, what's up? The lighting might be a little bit bad. The sunset's happening. Um, but we got the intake manifold off, as you can see. Uh, just don't forget to label everything um, because the one thing that is gonna happen that this is not gonna go back um, to stock, right? Like this is not gonna be plug and play anymore because um, we got the RCM parallel fuel lines, um, just like a whole bunch of stuff. It's probably gonna get all altered um, and look a lot different afterwards. So, uh, kind of like the labeling system that I did, I kind of just did something fun and really easy. So PCV69 <laughs> um, Titian series, uh, but I'm gonna actually, I have bought the conversion kit and there's a conversion kit that converts it from the competition to, to the street series. And I need the street series because I'm under 600 horsepower and running E85 uh, or running flex fuel. So they, IIG advises us or advises people to run a street series if you're under 600 and running flex fuel. So that's what I need to change to, <clears throat> uh, to mock up the um, EGT uh, bung sensor that we're gonna weld in tomorrow. And uh, so we can run the EGT, EGT sensor. All right. Um, and if you don't know what EGT is, it's exhaust gas temperature um, just to make and it monitors the temperature coming out of cylinder four, um, you know, just to make sure it's not running too hot because uh, running too hot means it's going to go kaboom soon. All right. So it's another thing to monitor. All right. First little hiccup. Um, so with the unequal length headers, uh, it goes around like this. Right. So you could run it, run these lines. How, how I set it up with unequal length headers. But with the pair and equal length headers, this doesn't work anymore because the, the tubes go like this. Um, so this is in the way. So I'm actually gonna have to take this off now. Uh, not a big deal. I'm definitely still gonna be able to run it, uh, but it's gonna have to take this off. So just heads up to anyone, if you have your oil cooler lines, uh, take them off before you do your equal length headers. All right, so took out the lines, uh, test fitted the equal length headers again, and uh, it doesn't fit. 
So, but looking at it, I think what I could do is I can rotate this because you can see where the, the, the return in the feeds are. Right there. Um, so that's actually hitting the header. So I think if I rotate it, uh, I, I think it'll fit because then that's where like the big gap is um, where this hole is right here on the header. Um, so I think I'm, I'm going to be able to rotate it. Uh, so we're going to play with the router and let's hopefully it'll fit. All right. All right. Good morning. It's day two. Uh, we ran into a little of a uh, scuffle last, a low bottleneck last night. Um, the pair and equal length headers do not fit a swapped GC. Um, I'll put up pictures right now. As you can see, it hits up, it hits the, uh, it hits this uh, radiator support tab really bad. Um, and then if you even, I was like wiggling it around, if I could squeeze it up there, it still hits the um, radiator. And then I mean, if you get it close enough as you can, it will, it still hits the, uh, then it hits, it doesn't even line up to the holes. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's just not gonna fit. And is, the reason why is that I actually ordered HKS. Uh, I asked my friend that he has the same swapped uh, V7 207 and his equal length headers fit. And he has HKS and the biggest difference, I already ordered HKS. So now the HKS is coming later in this week. Uh, I ordered from Rally Sport Direct. Uh, so it probably, they just shipped it out this morning, ordered it last night. So hopefully it just gets here later this week. It's no problem. I could do everything else. The headers are, you know, headers is going to be uh, screw, uh, make a hole for the uh, EGT sensor, weld it in, then install the headers. So that's really not a problem. Gonna go, probably going to titanium wrap them as well. But that's easy. We can get it. We can keep doing everything while we wait for that. But so obviously when the HKS headers come in, I will compare them, but then kind of just a rough. Uh, so you, as you can see when the headers, the parent equal length headers, see how this comes like this. So this whole bulge right here, the HKS and the Tomei ones, which a lot of GC people use. And now that I know this actually the, 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 the pipe goes like that. The crossover pipe goes straight across. So instead of going straight across the parent equal like that. So that's a, I mean, that's a huge, that's like two, three inches of clearance, which is ginormous, right? And that is a big difference in what's hitting it right here at this bend. Um, so if you have a swap GC and you want to go equal length headers, you ha I even you got to be careful with some unequal length headers. You, uh, be careful what brand you get, because um, then obviously no one really makes it specific. If you have a you know a GD motor, um, you're buying GD parts, um, so you kind of be careful. Uh, we don't have as much clearance from the engine to the uh, radiator support. Um, so yeah, so these don't work. Pair unequal length headers. Um, for the swap GCs, obviously they'll work for GDs and up. I think they, these are rated from 2002 to 2021, 2021 uh, STI, so like GDs and up. Uh, just GCs are the only ones that don't fit just because of the clearance of the radiator and the radiator support. Uh, let's go ahead and take off that turbo now, uh, which I didn't get to last night because I was kind of just like a little defeated after uh, <clears throat> the parent equal length headers didn't fit. But, you know, I ordered the HKS ones and they're coming in later this week. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, knock that out. Uh, and then once we knock that out, I'm actually planning to rewrap the uh, downpipe. So I'm probably going to take that out, rewrap the downpipe, uh, and then I'll, we'll start filming when we get the downpipe and the turbo valve.